Well, hello all you lovely people. I know I said I would have a garden video up this past weekend, but it was Josh's birthday and we got kind of busy with family stuff, so I'm sorry. Um, I thought I would just go ahead and do um, kind of a fresh updated video. I already had one. I'm going to scrap it. I'm going to do this one instead um, because a lot has changed already. Um, namely, I caught a little thief this morning chewing on my corn and uh, there's still some evidence along the fence there where he was sitting. Um, so the main objective today is just to kind of pick as much corn as we can, but mostly we're just kind of looking at how everything is doing. Um, I've got some tomatoes that are ready to come off. The green beans are doing awesome. Um, we're just going to kind of take a peek. And right here, right in front, he just got at that. These ears that were in front have been getting the most sun, so these were the biggest. Luckily I still have this one and a couple behind it. but. So I want to thank everybody who checked on us um, after all the rain that we've had. It's been a lot. Um, there's been a lot of flooding locally, but the worst of the flooding is east of us. Um, so we're going to have some information on here in a minute on how you can help those folks. Um, it missed us by several hours as far as the really bad stuff, but we did still get probably seven inches of rain over like a four day period. Um, so everything's pretty soggy here. Our governor is saying that uh, the people who are still stranded, dang it, got that one too. Mostly they need drinking water and batteries. Uh, those things are really hard to ship, but of course you can supply them with donations. Really any sort of uh, camping supplies, um, they're going to open up some of the state parks as quick as they can that were uh, caught up in the flooding and try to get these people a place to stay. Yeah, bush beans are all dying back. Anything left on those are going to be seeds for next year. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> that's my neighbor's dog. We hear that all day long. These guys are doing amazing. These are our zombie squash. Um, these were completely dead. The vine, vine borers got a hold of every single one of them. And I threw them over in the death pile to dry out before I threw them in the fire pile. And uh, oh my gosh, that poor dog. They have guests over there at my neighbor's house right now and the dog is banished to the outside so you can hear him in the background protesting that decision. Um, but anyway, I had these in the back and uh, they just weren't dying. They were laying in a pile with no root system whatsoever and they just were not giving up. So I got some of the uh, root growth hormone powder and dug a hole and made a fresh cut on the stem and dipped that in there and uh, off they went. So these three have kind of come back from the dead. Evidence of all that rain we've had. My tomatoes are slowly growing over onto my bean trellis. stand under my okra if it rains. <laughs> Ah, can't even hold it all. I'm gonna have to fry some of this and pickle some of it. Actually starting to get somewhere with our broccoli. Now we are still spraying these leaves. They've come a long way. I can't believe these have survived the heat of summer as well as they have. But I mean, for reference, like they're elbow high or so. And we are still going strong on the 90 day challenge with survival garden seeds. Um, we are one month into that and 
This is definitely the least vegetables I've ever had in a one month uh, period of time, so I'm kind of missing my veggies. I miss my stir fries. Um, I'm just out here every single day looking for like whatever I can pick and enjoy right then. Um, my pickles turned out great. I will show those here in just a moment. I couldn't wait. I had to try them. Uh, late night came and I kind of had those, those munchies. You want something sour and crunchy and hey, back of the fridge there were some fresh pickles. <laughs> Josh is laughing at me. Um, but anyways guys, uh, we did promise merch. We finally got some shirts out. We've got multiple designs. Um, we'll go over those here in just a minute. But uh, initially we were donating our profits from the shirts to homeless veterans. Um, in light of what has happened in Eastern Kentucky, we are going to forward all donations to them uh, for the time being until things settle down over there. So if you want a really cool shirt that you can fully customize and make your own that's actually for a good cause, choose whichever logo you like best. Most of them are in black and white. So if you want a dark colored shirt, choose the white logo. If you want a light colored shirt, choose the dark logo. And then there's a couple that are in bright color. They've got a million different colors. You can add your name to it. You can take the logo on the front and move it to the back. You can change the size of it. Put it basically anywhere you want to. If you put your name on it, you can change the color, change the font. You can put stuff on the side of the hood. You can put your name on your sleeve. It's really cool. Like you can, it's, it's gonna be a challenge. Like I'm, I'm gonna be challenging you guys here soon to see who can come up with the coolest version of our shirts. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Josh added his name to the front. Um, I have a shirt here in a minute with my name on the front. This is the women's tank top. This is the men's classic tee. We went ahead and just cut the sleeves off of it because it's been hotter than sin. This is the third of the original three logos. Um, we keep updating them, but these are the ones that first dropped. So if you've already bought one of those t-shirts, you got one of the OG t-shirts. Um, I've got no design on the back, put this one on the front. Um, Josh decided on Devil Dog instead of his name and show him the back. This is our hunt season design. Pretty excited about that. Isn't it pretty? I love it. You can choose between over 30 different types of shirts. You can get hats, tote bags, neck handkerchiefs. Babe, you're too tall. I'm sorry, I can't keep you in there. <laughs> or you can get more of these awesome t-shirts. This is the women's midi crop. I did put my name on this one and it's got the uh, original fish logo on it. I did put out two new versions of this logo, one in electric green. Our shirts are in the mail. Um, we'll be showing those next time we film. And then there's an electric blue. And uh, like I said, guys, every part of what we get from these shirts is gonna go straight to Eastern Kentucky to help our fellow Kentuckians. Let us know what you think and how you would customize these shirts. And uh, next month, I think we're gonna issue a challenge on who can make the most unique version of our design. So that's gonna be kind of fun. You get to have a lot of fun with this one. There's nothing but creative freedom there. So. Hope you guys like them. I know I love them. You're going to be seeing them a whole lot more. And uh, we got a couple more on the way to uh, show off next time. So thank you guys. You have made it all worth it. Honestly, this has been quite the journey.